I never really thought of road maintenance as a way to stop pollution, but recently I teamed up with John Pankratz, road supervisor for Eastside Highway District, to learn more about this important work. I'm Jim Eakins, University of Idaho Extension Water Educator. Thank you, Jim. Today we will explore how the highway districts are working hard to reduce stormwater pollution. Car tires wear down into dust and cars naturally drip small amounts of fluids onto roads. Best management practices such as bile infiltration swales and rock line ditches are often installed to treat stormwater before it gets into the aquifer or water bodies. Trash along highways is a source of plastics in our lakes and streams. Plastic doesn't go away. It breaks down into ever smaller pieces, eventually becoming microscopic beads or fibers. These fibers look just like algae to the little critters that live in our lakes and streams. Algae is the foundation of the aquatic food chain. These tiny creatures, called zooplankton, naturally eat algae, but are often confused by the microplastics thinking it's food. Once ingested, it can plug up and kill the zooplankton. Worse yet, plastics tend to absorb toxins like PCBs, oils, and petrochemicals. Zooplankton that manage to live concentrate these toxins in fatty tissues. Fish love to eat plankton, but contaminated plankton further concentrates in the toxins in the fish. Higher animals like ospreys and humans eat fish and continue the concentration. This is a process called bioaccumulation, and it can result in unhealthy levels of chemicals in our body. By street sweeping, and supporting volunteer litter patrols, trash heading to the lake is greatly reduced. Storm drains have catch basins for oils and sediment. These are regularly cleaned out to keep it out of the waterways and the aquifer. You can help in these efforts by volunteering on a litter cleanup day, not tossing trash out the car window, keep your car well maintained, and finding ways to drive less. Thanks for watching. And thanks to these organizations for making this video possible.